the gentle mentor. Let's we'll do a little revamp, and that's let's do it. Let's this do is it, this I is it. I think this is one of the reasons it's so critical to be in touch with your neighbors and to yes. know the people who live around you and to build yeah. that community. Right. Because if you know the poop hits the fan. You know, the power all goes out. The computers quit working. There's nowhere to go. There's no stores open. You you got to have somebody. You, you can't survive as a solo individual. It's You can survive as a family if you weren't, you know, in landlocked or in somewhere where you're heavily populate, population dense. Right, right. You know, right. if you're out in the woods, you can kind of take care of yourself and live off the land and all that kind of good old stuff. But if you're a city right. dweller, I mean, what do you do? That's what all the city dwellers mm -hmm. found out during the pandemic. It sucks to be locked down and not be able to go anywhere. Yeah. And when it's not just, you know, cause the government decided to lock you down. Cause you know, like I said, it's, it's the real poop and you got nowhere to go. You don't have anybody, but the people around you and man, it's, it's people are going to find out how much they miss all that connectedness and community and stuff that we used to have. Cause that's how, you know, that's how our country made it through the difficulties it's made it through in the past. Because we reached out and linked arms and stuff. And we've spent the last 10 years breaking each other's arms. And nobody wow. wants to reach oh, out to good. each other. Yeah. Nobody that's wants really to link up with anybody. It was like, no. Oh. Well, we spent the last 10 years breaking arms and slapping hands. Mm -hmm. And now nobody wants to reach out to anyone. Wow. That's pretty good. That's pretty, <laughs> that's pretty stellar, man. And I, I think uh, what you're, I think what you're onto is right. Um, that we've, we've got to, our neighbors are our, you know, the people that we live on, the people on our street, the people outside, our next door neighbors. Those are the ones we need to really start communicating with, really start talking with, really start, I'd say planning, but mm -hmm. because you're going to need those relationships. Your, your buddy down in Dallas posted a thing last week and I, I commented, I'm told like that should be a t-shirt, man. That's, I don't know. You don't know me, so he doesn't get my sense of humor probably, but it was, he did this big thing. You know, if you ignore your children and then later they're going to yell, if you do this, you know, but at the bottom, the total, the summation of the thing was, if you don't listen to the, the complaints or you don't listen to the chatter, you're going to hear the screams. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I'm like, that should be a t-shirt. Yeah. You, you will hear the screams that preaches in every aspect of your life. And some of them when may you, be your it, own. If you wait until you get to the problem to start fixing it, all you're going to hear is screams. Yeah. So, yeah, build, put some food in the garage and stock some food up. Make friends with your neighbors and try to, like, know everybody's name and, you know, do stuff like that. Be preparing. It may never come. You may never need it. You won't miss it. Let's hope. Let's hope. I guess how do, how do, how do we have those conversations with not so that we don't sound like Mr. Doomsday? you know, neighbor. Hey, neighbor. Uh, I don't <laughs> Good to see you. I want to talk to you about the future. <laughs> Wait, don't run from your Lord Jesus. Yeah. Christ. <laughs> as long as you're not, as long as you're not like waving tracks or selling fallout shelters. <laughs> I think at this point in the clock and the calendar, I think people are looking for people to listen to. I, you know, you might, I'm, I, I think you might be right on that. I think you might, we might be surprised just here, kind of knock on a door and go, Hey man, I've been thinking, what do you think about this? I think you might be right. That's that's the big the big takeaway from the triple dad death. It's like, mm. man, that dude got on my nerves, but boy, it was good to know he was there. If I needed somebody to call up, had something to ask, man, it was good to know he was there and he ain't there now. Ah! Sure. Yeah. Sure. The yeah. triple dad death. I feel like that should be a t-shirt too. <laughs> but uh, and that's what people are going through. I mean, people don't Every voice of reason and every voice we've been told to trust has turned out to be a liar in the last 12 to 24 months. Not the kind of lies they used to tell, where it was like, <laughs> like bold faced lies. And then, yeah, we're lying to you. Too bad. Do it anyway. Yeah. Obviously, the government, they've been on that trajectory for a while. Now, the news media, now science, now medical doctors. Mm. I mean, we're marking and them we'll, off. What about celebrities? <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, don't say that. We still need to, we need still need them to do that and song. Influencers, still need them to do the song. Yeah. influencers. 
Yeah, influencers yeah, are going to be really disappointed to find out that's not a job position in the uh, the uh, the uh, the uh, post apocalyptic world. Yeah, the post apocalyptic world does not include influencers and 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 celebrities. Post apocalyptic influencers want it. Ooh, post apocalyptic influencers. I'm still waiting for the uh, we are the world version of yes. the of the vaccine. Are we are we going to get that? We are the jab. <laughs> We are the pricks. It's <laughs> <laughs> terrible. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, it's not. I it's a great really idea. Awful. It's a great idea. And one we should probably write down. So I'm not so the, the one I was walking through this morning. I was walking through the house this morning and Deborah had on some news. And I was just like, and all I heard was get off of Google and talk to your doctor. And I'm like, wow. Okay. People are just they're just adamant about listen to science listen to science mm, 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 mm. yeah well i i i know you saw the post I, it it was everywhere on the internet sunday that oh, the, the, the one about the 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 the, the from the, terrorist the NBC threats. News. yeah the D, the department of homeland security new terror threats for right. and that's sunday on nbc news yeah right. if you if you doubt covid or vaccination if you think you, you you're or, resistant to the vaccine, or, or you think there's border you think fraud, there's voter election, fraud, voter fraud, election fraud, or if you celebrate religious holidays, terrorists. Yep. Yeah, and then, and then okay, all right, and let's 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 just take a minute went, and go. Okay, I went to bed a white supremacist, woke up a terrorist, crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I can't take this. I can't take this job title change so often. People have just got to look. Am I going to be a white supremacist or am I going to be a terrorist? You have to tell me so that I can. I can't. You know, that's why I quit one of my positions at a church is because I just I, I couldn't do so many roles. Make I need, up my I mind. Need to be really good at one thing. Which am I going to be good at? Or at least focus. Oh, yeah, I focus. Do you want to do that? I can't do three things and, and be really good at three things. Maybe two, but probably more than likely just one. That thing, that, and I was concerned about that because I've seen that several, and I'm, I'm like, is that real? I didn't see that on the news. I mean, a lot of people can can make a, a slide and put that on their screen and take a picture of it. Is it is it is it is it real? What what are the, what are the what's the data we have on that particular slide showing up <laughs> on the NBC nightly news that classifies seventy five percent of Americans, if, whether they are vaccinated or non vaccinated, as terrorists. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because a lot of them still vaccinated are religious, which is cool, but a lot of them still celebrate religious holidays, which are coming up very soon, which right. coincide a lot with this the holiday coming up that's twenty years old here on September the eleventh. Um. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm concerned. When is when is Rosh Hashanah anyway? What, what date is that coming up? Labor Day weekend. Is That's that why Labor I Day weekend. Tell you, well, that was the that was the. Well, thing. I know That's, that was coming up. So Yom I was. Uh, I was. Uh, I was thinking about when I'm going to schedule the release of all this video content that I'm oh, building, okay. building okay. up. Okay. And I was going to go with August first, and I'm like, oh no, no, it's too soon. Mm -mm, yeah push it out to labor day and so i was thinking the other day i'm like when is labor day anyway so i popped open the calendar look and it's like i'm like oh snap. monday september 6 <laughs> rosh hashanah 2021 ain't that fun wednesday isn't that a big old stack of stuff stacking up <laughs> uh and then yom kippur is before or after yom kippur is is after right it should be after yeah i think back when i was jewish it was after <laughs> back when <laughs> Yom Yom Kippur, Yom Kippur, 2021. Let's look. Calendar date, Yom Kippur, 2021 is celebrated September 16th. So that's a span of time of 10 days from September 6th to the 16th that, you know, you've got the celebration of it, atonement is Yom. Wait a minute. Yom Kippur is atonement, or which one is atonement? And which one is Yom Kippur is atonement? Yom Kippur is atonement. Rosh Hashanah is the trumpet. Rosh Hashanah is the Jewish New Year, right? The trumpet. Yeah. The trumpet. The feast of trumpets. Yeah. <laughs> oh, crikey's. 
I know. There's just a there's just a lot of a lot of a lot of a lot of ping pong balls in the hopper. Hmm. Hmm. That's what I feel like. I feel like it's like one of the, the, the somebody's the, turning the that bingo, thing the and... bingo turner with the balls in it, <laughs> waiting for that first one to drop. I twenty nine. Oh ninety five. Oh, oops, shit. that's ours. <laughs> <laughs> See ya. <laughs> oh, mega. <laughs> oh man. man, yeah. I would like to know. Okay, so what is? Oh man, this it's makes sketchy, me wanna, sketchy, sketchy as crap, makes me man. Call up Avraham and say, okay, what what year is this? <laughs> I talked to him today when I was at the office, but I'm like, okay, we, we got to figure it. out. What's we the Hebrew Google here? It. I don't know, dude. I'm just, I'm, I'm going to sit back watching. I, that's, I mean, what can you do, right? I can do a lot of things. I can say a lot of things. I'm just. Well, I'm, you can say a lot of things. Yeah. Man. But what can you do? Yeah. Right? I can't affect any. <laughs> right. I mean, what, what is it that we can. Again, I think it's like bringing comfort to, you know, those people. Then, say, hey, I'm, chill, I'm kind of chill, back, chill, chill. back on your other page, though, with that. It's like I'm more than willing to comfort people. But, yeah, most people just look at me like I'm crazy. So any year, people I love. So. Yeah, well, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, people you love have to be crazy to love us. Mm. Hebrew year 20, uh-oh, when was that? 20, uh, 57, 81. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. That number doesn't sound. I mean, if you think of the number 5781, does that? It doesn't, but I don't accept their numbering system. I don't accept any of the numbering systems that anyone's using. I think they're all wrong. And I think that's Fair enough. It's part of the problem with forecasting, but it's also part of the reason that it's that way is to keep people from forecasting. Right. It's I guess my- safety on each side. My biggest question is, will we see by September the 6th, will we see the Omega variant? Because once we see the Omega variant, that's it. I'm on my <laughs> way out, right? <laughs> that's the end. Yeah. Any Anything called Omega at this point, I'm probably yeah, going to. At that end. point, it's like. They well, opened I'm, a new uh, Meow Wolf place in uh, Las Vegas, and it's called Omega Mart. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, at that point, yeah, the Omega right. variant. Yeah, I'm too. And, I'm too. And I'm, God goes. God goes. I told you I was the end. <laughs> I, I, he's getting a high five from me if that's the closer. Because that's <laughs> I would love it. I would love go, it. That'd be that's great. golden. That's golden. that is that is. That I watched. Is. I watched Andy preach a sermon Sunday. He did a good job. Oh he yeah, was, yeah. It was he his first he had, time. He really? was like, oh yeah. He was. He. I wouldn't say he was nervous, but he was going kind of fast. He was like you know, watching his watch right. a lot. I'm like, yeah, right. You get over that after, after two eight or minutes, three of them. It was like me in my first sermon. After eight yeah. minutes, it's like, oh, that's everything I know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm out. You're dismissed. <laughs> Wait, you got 21 more minutes. No, that's all I know. I'm out of stuff to say. Uh, so, yeah, well, well he did He did pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, I thought he did good. He did good. Uh, okay. Yeah, it was it was good. Like I said, you could tell it was his first time and he was awkward and uncomfortable, but yeah, that's why I tuned in. So I go, that's my boy. That's was it so did you tune in, did you tune in live mm, yeah 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 oh, they're nice, on they're on nice. the on the the facebooks Ooh. i had to get on get on my wife's facebook because i don't i don't facebook too much but yeah that was cool i was i brought that up for a reason too he was here and we were talking okay and i had uh one of my great prophetic ideas it's neither a great idea nor prophetic it was something that happened and was said and i went past it and then i suddenly went hey wait a minute okay hold on put a put a put a Put a, a pin put, in that. Know, put a pin in that. Do you feel, because I was having this conversation the other day, do you feel like you're prophetic in certain areas? Mm, I, <laughs> I don't feel like I'm prophetic, okay? Can At we, all. So, okay. okay. I feel like God says things through my mouth. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> and when they're When you re- pause when you said, I feel like God. Says things through my mouth. That was they'll like, have, wait a minute, whoa, me, whoa. They'll have me on the wagon with Furtick, ride me out of town, man. Yeah, you got to go. No, it's, it's, it's. Okay. You the, feel like God says things the, through your mouth. The more accurate it is, the less I'm aware of it. I feel like that's what happens in the Old Testament. I feel like God is talking through the mouths of these guys, and they're saying things sure. they didn't even get what they were saying. Okay. 
Here's a great example that you can take part in. Okay. One day. Don't, well, don't forget we got a pen in that pen. handy thing. Okay, go ahead. One day, me and my friend are sitting in a bank because the church we're working for is signing loan papers. Okay. Now, there's not a thought in my mind that my friend is taking a job at another place and getting ready to move. Okay. Flippantly, I mentioned the fact that the senior pastor had said to me he thought that this guy was going to move. And I watched the look on this guy's face change in front of me, and I'm like, oh, man, I just made problems. I'm hurting his feelings. I'm telling him I'm saying these things, and this guy, I'm breaking this guy's heart and telling him here's his boss is talking shit about him behind his back again. And then I found out the whole thing was absolutely 100% correct. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I had no idea. It wasn't, oh, so every time I do, I, oh, that. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I, I look at some of these guys in the, in, in history and in ancient scripture that taught that, that are, that are prophetic, but they also are, are part of the decisions that are happening. Like you sitting in the bank, they're, they're in that. They're hearing the, the leadership speak. They're watching things that are going on. They're seeing what's happening. And I don't think it takes a rocket scientist or um, a, a donkey that speaks from the Lord <laughs> to but realize. But I'll take one if you got it. Hold, yes, please. I'll take one if you have it. To go, hold on a minute. I think if we continue this path, this is going to be the mm. outcome. Mm. And I think that that can kind of i think that could qualify for the prophetic almost yeah and and not be a whole thus saith the lord if you continue this path you know people who are pedophiles will eventually be a mental qualification and then we will let people be pedophiles because of their mental qualification i've Our been prophesying that the, for 20 years the, the next president <clears throat> will be a man of god and he will be a man of not many words <laughs> Great moments in prophecy. I, I think, I think, I think it doesn't take. A, I don't, I don't think it takes a lot to realize that. But anyway, I, I just wondered. I was having that conversation yeah, with someone today. I was just wondering. It's like, is, is, is it a prophetic thing? Is it something that we think about a lot? That we feel like that since we're putting ourselves in that space, that God kind of goes, "Here's some wisdom in that area that I mm. want you to share." And then we're just like, oh, we're putting the puzzle pieces together because God has given the wisdom to us to be able to put those pieces together and go, hey, folks, I just want to tell you about this because this sounds familiar because <laughs> everything is, you know, familiar. Yeah, anyway, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Let's go back. Let's go back. We put a pin. Andy speaks. You watch well, him on a Sunday. Let me, let me, let me, let me finish that one okay. more thing on that thought. Go for That's it. when I talk about the hopper and the ping pong balls and the hopper. Okay. That's my sense of what's going on. Mm. There's a lot of moving parts. At some point, what mm -hmm. I expect, because this has been my experience, what I expect is that those things or some of those things will start to like snap into a picture, like become a rigid thing. They're mm -hmm. not just molecules flying around. They start to look like something. I never know. Is that the Holy Spirit speaking to me? Is that just me observing history and human nature and patterns of people like I do all the time? Is that something that God is giving up? I, I, no think, it, I think it's a blend of all of yeah, that stuff. Yeah, I, I think, think it's a blend of wisdom from the Holy Spirit, being observant of the patterns that are happening, happening to men, to humanity, to men and women, that we're just looking back and we can take the, the, all the history from Scripture and look at that and compare all of that and go, hmm, hold on a minute. Yeah. You know, this is looking a lot like Sodom. <laughs> yeah. You, this is looking a lot like Rome. As, as much as we like to pat ourselves on the back about how awesomely miraculous and super cool we are as humanity, we are, we're simple math. All yeah. you have to do is watch. Yeah. <laughs> the patterns are, they, they, they establish themselves. It doesn't I, I think require, you're absolutely right. Yeah. The patterns are correct. The, and the, I, I think and, the truly prophetic are what, like you said, all those things, but there are moments when all those things coalesce around one thing. Yes. And then you have something that's like textbook, according to Hoyle prophetic, everything else is kind of, to me, variations of word of wisdom, word of knowledge, you know, right. 
this is we add these ingredients and it's this whatever you want to call it it's god he's always trying to talk to us it's not a matter of if he's saying something or what he's saying so much as what is in the way of us listening because that's the deal what is in the way of us listening i like that i write that down the answer is usually us <laughs> <laughs> cheat cheat I'm going to give you, I'm gonna give you a free the answer. answer. The answer is usually us. The Gentle Mentor.